hello and welcome back to the channel in this vlog i take you with me to arakova which is a small town located on the slopes of mount panassus in central greece it is a popular destination for winter tourism due to its proximity to the panassus ski center which is one of the largest ski resorts in greece Arakova is also close to important archaeological sites such as the ancient city of Delphi which was considered to be the center of the ancient world and the home of the oracle of Delphi only a short drive away. Other activities that one could engage in apart from skiing walking around and exploring the town as well as shopping would be trekking, rock climbing as well as mountain biking. If you're a tea lover like myself then I would recommend this store. They have such amazing teas and one of my favorite ones are ginger based. So there's many, many, many options, which I'll try and show you now. I ended up getting the silhouette tea with green tea, lemongrass, ginger and lemon. Oh my god, it smells delicious. It smells so good. Apart from skiing, Arakova is also known for its traditional architecture, picturesque streets and lively nightlife. The town has many shops selling local products such as cheese, honey, tea, wine as well as traditional handicrafts. So on this day, I decided to climb some 250 something steps to get to the historical church of St. George. I honestly didn't want to, but there were older women in front of me and they kept going. And so I was motivated to just go behind them until I got to the top. Um, the church is said to be the main church in Arakova. It was built on top of an older church that dates back to the 17th century. It has a beautiful bell tower and the interior is very, very beautiful. It's very impressive. It was worth the climb up <laughs> after I got there. I really appreciated having taken time and spent some of my energy just to get to the top.
I have no idea what this pattern signifies, but I kept seeing it everywhere on tiles, on the floor, on rags, on other handicrafts. I saw it in the museum, which I will show you later on. I saw it in the church this church and another church which again you will see later on and i don't know it's everywhere i wonder what it actually signifies at the back of the church were some graves i am not certain if they make up the historical part of the church i know that the church was involved in the greek war of independence to some degree maybe that's why yeah but after walking around the grounds of the church i then decided to go back down the 250 something steps to explore more of arakova So like a proper tourist, I did a bit of window shopping and then a bit of shopping, which I wasn't even supposed to do. It wasn't on the budget, not for this day, but then I have no regrets. I did find some nice things for myself, stuff that I can remember Arakova by. So after walking around, I decided to visit the Folklore Museum, which is also known as the Ethnographic Museum of Arakova. It showcases the town's history and culture through traditional costumes, household items, agricultural tools, and other artifacts from the past as well as from the present. Admission is free and the museum is open daily. I think there are a couple of times that I've been to Arakova where it was closed. I don't remember if it was a public holiday or if it was closed for, for whatever reason, but it is usually open daily.
so on the same grounds as the folklore museum is the clock tower it's just at the back you wouldn't even need to exit the gate it is one of the most photographed attractions of arakova i hear it's even more impressive at night i've actually seen some scenes in one of my favorite k-dramas that were shot um at the scene and if you've watched the descendants of the sun then you would know what i'm talking about it is a structure of the 16th century that used to be the top of a cathedral that was destroyed by an earthquake in 1870 later the clock mechanism was added to the tower and the clock tower got its current use that remains till today from the top the view of arakova is just stunning it doesn't matter what direction you're looking at it's just so beautiful i guess that's why it's so popular because then you get to really see how amazing arakova is After I was done at the clock tower, I decided to visit the Church of Assumption of Mary. This church was built in the 17th century. It has a simple but elegant interior. Unfortunately, on this day, it was closed, so I couldn't go in. Once I was done at the church, I took the back gate out to the back alley of the village and I was just walking around exploring. I came across some very old structures, very old buildings, I'm not even sure if they are in use. I did see a bit of life and, and then in some areas it was just dead. And then after that I went walking around again but this time I was actually looking for somewhere to eat. I ended up settling for this restaurant here and um, though it seemed empty I made the right choice. I enjoyed the meal. They were even kind enough to give me a free dessert afterwards. I took my time to devour everything as I always do and also to have the dessert like calmly, peacefully just enjoying each spoonful of it. <laughs> it had an amazing view though I couldn't find a seat right in front where I could see the view of the village but I had an amazing experience though I was by myself. The food was fresh. It was so 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 good the entire experience in arakova though i was alone it was one of the best experiences ever it wasn't too cold 
too hot it was just perfect i loved it dessert on the house <laughs> After I was done with my lunch, I did walk around some more, but not for too long. I was now extremely tired from climbing upstairs and climbing downstairs and then walking through the back alleys, the front alleys and exploring the city. I had done enough for this day. I was content and also especially because it wasn't my first, my second or my third time. I think it was my fifth or my sixth time in Arakova. So I didn't feel like I missed anything. I tried to go to some of my favorite places and some of the popular places in order to at least showcase them in this vlog and with this i would like to end the vlog here i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed the trip please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as share and comment and if you aren't subscribed already i hope you consider subscribing and joining the family otherwise i'll see you in the next one take care Bye-bye.